Kathleen Kennedy, hi, hello. I'm glad you stumbled upon our humble little YouTube channel. Word on the street is you're making an Obi-Wan solo movie. Well, I have some good news for you. I know exactly who should direct that film for you. Now I know what you're thinking. We already have a director, thank you very much. Well, given the turnover rate of Star Wars directors, maybe you should hear me out just in case. The man you should be considering is none other than Gendy Tartakovsky. An Obi-Wan film should focus on two things, isolation and the underworld of Tatooine. Obviously, Obi-Wan stays on Tatooine to babysit Luke, but we've seen time and time again that Obi-Wan enjoys a drink at a seedy bar. He, more than any Jedi we've seen before, loves frequenting rough establishments, getting to know the locals, and doing some digging along the way. Imagine a movie that explores some of the grungy elements of Tatooine's underworld while also reveling in isolation, loneliness, and less dialogue than your average film. Well, actually, you don't have to imagine any of that. Gendy already proved that he knows what he's doing when he whipped up Samurai Jack, one of the most inventive and engaging cartoons of the 2000s. Samurai Jack built a visually unique world that felt unlike anything else. It was weird, it was frightening, it was distant, it was, oddly enough, welcoming to the viewer. It was a world of outsiders, strange characters all trying to make their way through a futuristic fantasy land. The Samurai Jack template lends itself quite well to an Obi-Wan solo flick. Oh, and Gendy has experience with Star Wars. It's a match made in heaven, right? Now, now, I know what you're thinking. The guy's an animator. We're making a live action film. True, but an animation background still lends itself to strong cinematography and visual style. He's worked with actors, editors, and musicians before. Sure, he may not know his lenses, but get the man a solid DP and he'll knock it out of the park. Anyway, I'm glad we had this little talk. Now let's chat a bit about toning down the fan service.